Hey everybody, Keith K here and welcome back to the South Pacific of Stranded Deep. Today we are going to take a look at the gyrocopter uh, having uh, just come off of the aircraft carrier in the last uh, tutorial I put out. We now have the parts to make this and if we go to our crafting menu we can see uh, that there are five steps to building this. First we build the base, then the seat, motor, cockpit, and rotors. Uh, so let's get to it. You've got to make sure you've got a hammer equipped. Um, but to get started with the base, you just need one gyrocopter base. We'll just put that down in the old place. There we go. Next up, we'll build the seat. And you just have to snap it in there. Okay, next up, we're going to get the motor. Right here, so you just need a fuel part, a filter part, and the uh, engine itself. And again, if you don't know where to find those, um, you're going to find all these parts uh, at various shipwrecks around your islands. And I'll link to a brief tutorial I've got about that here. All right, so now we've got our motor in place. Next up, we need our cockpit, which is just one electrical part, not too complicated. And then the last bit is our rotors. All right, and it <laughs> wanted to fall over. So uh, you will need some fuel. And um, if you don't know where to get fuel, you're gonna find these jerry cans and shipwrecks as well, but you'll build your fuel still here and power it. Uh, you'll, you'll basically um, distill fuel from potatoes. So you're gonna need to farm potatoes because you, you won't be able to gather enough to do sustained uh, flights or, or um, boat motors either for that matter. So you're gonna wanna farm potatoes and you're gonna wanna build a fuel still and then you'll be able to refill your jerry cans um, as you need them. And I've got tutorials on both uh, farming and the fuel still that I'll link to here. But once you've got, and I'll just show you this has got 100% fuel. Just approach the vehicle, fill it up. I believe, yeah. And that took all. That takes a whole one whole can. And that's pretty much it. All right, and on to our flight controls. You're just gonna hold E to start the engine, just like the rat, the uh, boat motor. You press space uh, on the PC to go up. I'm not quite. I'm not sure what the uh, console controls are. But I will link to um, uh, a web page that has those listed. And then you're just going to use your movement keys like you normally would. With, uh, and you can go backwards too. Uh, it's a little hard to see where you're going, but controls are pretty straightforward. The toughest thing is probably landing. Um, you, what you don't want to do is press E. Uh, and stop your uh, copter in the middle of flight. Um, early, early on when I was playing this game, I wasn't sure how to get off and I was trying to, I, pressed, I was pressing different keys um, and I died. Um, and then to descend is just your left control button and not too fast. I built a little landing pad here. One last thing I wanted to point out um, is that you can look down to see your fuel status and also notice that there is a compass here uh, right in the, um, the cockpit. So you can um, easily navigate your way around. And this is where we're headed next. The Meg, not too far from the aircraft carrier. Found that on my way back. There he is. We will be back on a boat to take care of him. Now you go through fuel pretty fast. Um, I might carry, I might carry an extra fuel can with me. So it's not uh, the most efficient way to travel, but um, 
it is pretty fun and you get a nice view of the islands. And so that's pretty much going to do it uh, for this tutorial. If you liked it, uh, please give a like if you got something out of it. If you want to get notified of future um, tutorials and episodes that I put out, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. And I'll see you back here soon.